Hi right, YouTube, Chrome Freak here. Marlin 1895, brand spanking new. Just took the tag off it, as you can see. What I'm going to do is completely strip this gun down. The customer um, wants a trigger job done, so I figured why not film it? This is more of what I want to do, is get this on film a whole lot more often, so let's go ahead and... Um, I know this gun is safe, I mean... I just took the tag off it. There's no ammo for it. It's a Marlin 1895 and 4570. So I'm going to try to keep this on video. I don't have a big area. I'm trying to keep this on so you guys can see. Uh, we're going to start. We're going to go ahead and take out the lever, which is this screw right here. Take that out. Put this up there. Put all my screws right here where I know where they're at. Okay, the lever comes right out like so. All of them right there. Got a little smith up here. Got to make a video. Or not a video. I got to do some work on that. That's why that's out. Okay. Next thing we're going to do is going to reach from behind back here. And you're just going to pull the bolt straight out. Just grab it and pull it out like so. Lay it off to the side. And what I do is because I just reach in for the pair of needle nose and just grab the, um, the ejector right here. Pull it out. And the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to uh, remove the stock. Let's go ahead and start by doing that. Stand it up on its side. One screw right in the back. I'm hoping you can see that. Looks like you can. One screw right here in the back. We'll take that out. And the stock should come right off with no problem. There you go. Now, if it's an older gun, it may be gummed up. It may be, it might take you a little bit of pressure to pull that off. It probably won't come off as easy as this one just did. Okay. Now, what I want to do is you got the mainspring. You guys could see the mainspring right here. What I want to do is I want to relax the pressure on that. Well, I've taken the lever out and the bolt out, so I've got to get the hammer up. In order to get the hammer up, you got two buttons right here behind the trigger. It's going to be the one that's furthest away. They'll actually both work, but you won't get enough leverage on this front one to be able to do it. Uh, so what I do is I put a stick up against my belly, um, and I push in, if I can make it stay, on that bottom one, push the trigger, and there you go. The hammer will come up. Okay, now that the hammer's up, we've released, released the pressure. It's still under pressure, don't get me wrong, but we've relieved a lot of the pressure that was on that mainspring right there. So, it sits in a groove, and I'm hoping you guys can see this. It sits in a groove on the back. Well, I'm just going to take it, and I just pull the top out, and just like that. And there you go. There's the mainspring and the keeper. Put those off to the side. Okay, now the next screw I'm going to take out is going to be the um, hammer screw. It's holding the hammer in. And that's going to be the one located right here. This is the next one to come out. What I'll do guys is I've actually got to do a trigger job on this gun. A lot of the times this thing will sit here, it only has a few threads, but it'll sit there and spin and spin and spin like it's doing right now. So it should be loose. I think that's enough to have it loose. I'll take something from the other side. Where's my little punch? And go ahead and push that through. Yep. See it coming out? And there it is. It's out right there. Okay. Now the next thing I want to take off is um, I want to go ahead and take the bottom plate out. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to take this screw right here. You guys can see that out. We'll start with that one. There's two holding this bottom plate in. And the plate holds the trigger itself. This is a very short screw, as you can see, it comes out with no problem. Flip the gun on to the other side. One more screw right here. Take it out. It's nice, a brand new gun. I don't have no problem getting these screws out. Okay, turn the gun up on its side like this, and that comes right out. You can see this is the trigger. On the back, you'll see the spring right there. You guys could see in here or not. But anyway, if I'm able to film the trigger job, if I have time, I will do that. If I'm not able to film the trigger job, I will at least do the reassembly tomorrow. I'll try to get this up today and, and that up tomorrow. Um, reach in and take your hammer right out. Your hammer strut and your hammer. Put it off to the side. Be careful not to lose none of these parts, guys. Okay. The next screw that's going to come out 
is this one located right here next to your safety your cross bolt safety go ahead and take it out by the way the safety bolt could probably come out right now without even taking this screw out um, if I'd have dumped it out in fact I know it will let me go ahead and just remove this screw though put it off to the side that's this screw right here now real what's kind of important on that plate that bottom plate screw is you had the long one that I took out of the front here and the shorter one comes out of the side on the other side of the gun so always remember the longer one goes right in the bottom the shorter one goes on the side they're both the same thickness hope you guys are seeing all this by the way reach in and pull that out that's your crossbar safety kind of um, okay now that's it your work and action come right out now that's everything that's everything. I'm not going to take the safety, if you could see it, right there. There's no need to take that out at all. I'm not going to mess with the magazine or the forend. There's no need to. I'm going to do a trigger job, and everything I'm going to do the trigger job with is already out. I'm just going to completely be smoothing up this action, all the machine uh, marks and all that in there. I'm going to get everything smoothed out, and I'm going to do the trigger job. I may or may not do this on camera. If I do, I'm... I, well, you know what? Let's leave it for that if I do. I'll be back with the re, with the reassembly of this 1895 and 4570, but most of the Marlins are going to be lever action. are going to be taken down the same exact way. All right, guys. Thanks for watching. Uh, Chrome Freak 123, uh, K&W Gunworks, Southern Yankee Guns, Ammunition Depot. Peace.